blah 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 disclaimer stuff I don't know if you've read it before but like it's here anyway yada yada okay on with the video now hello welcome to portal 2 please refer to portal 1 while we're playing portal 2 <laughs> no that's my auto saves no you know what my auto saves you want new there we are yep chapter 1 we don't know how loud this is, but hopefully it's alright. Because for some reason when we have a microphone plugged in, we can't hear audio. You can, obviously you guys can, but we can't while we're recording. I know, it's really strange it talking is, with it nothing. It is very strange. Let's take this off. Oh. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now, please return to your bed. Please return to your bed. Go to bed! Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 That's a nine, 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 Hello? Anyone in there? Is that a the Hello? Immediately. Any test of Are you going to open the door at this time? Any time? Will to have exercised his or her right Hello? to remain in extended nope. relaxation? Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Or concerns regarding the ha! Ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. Such a shame There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just hmm. take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. You're staring very intently at this. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hear that one. I hear that one. 
Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. There we go. Now I'll be honest. Good luck. Hello, Mr. Portal. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Portal symbol. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin Wait, in three. If you're in the same two, facility as one. last time, wouldn't the puzzles be the same? Yep. You're overthinking things sometimes. Oh, there's a lot more stuff than bloody 19. And that goes back into the. Go around the cell. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You'll see. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. If you look up here, I can't remember what chamber it is, but if you look up here in one of them, uh, there's a companion. Oh, we're going down this time. Instead of up. Maybe that's why the tests are different. We're going down and not up. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. One of 19. It's not 19. One of, sure it's not 19. One of 69. Oh. Is that better? Okay, so... Oh, can you uh, smash through? No, okay. <laughs> There's me overthinking it. So it opens one, but not the other. Oh, I get you. Turn around. No, turn around. There it is. Click the button. I know, I'm just seeing if I can be cheesy. Turn around, there it is. Pop it on the thing. Then I'm assuming you press that button. And then. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh, keep an eye on these loading screens, by the way. I will say no more, but keep an eye on, keep an eye on these loading screens. 
If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. Hey, you made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Oh, okay. yeah. Whoa! See the portal gun? Yeah. Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm still waiting for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, oh, then I'll come back. The portal gun and it. assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. No, Go nice. team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. It's not exactly oh. <laughs> Right. There we go. Up we go. Oh, it tells you where the blue thing is as well. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. There's a thing, I think, in this game for Test Chamber 8. This next test is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> A nice simple one. So get up there first. Fire blue one in any direction. On the ledge, shoot. Shoot the thing, not underneath it. No. Oh, God. <laughs> so, no, fire the blue one underneath the underneath the cube. So no, you fall. Shame again with that one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs>
if the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, so what's that? Oh, okay. Up the steps. Expecting well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances people, may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Nope. Oh. Oh, yeah, to cool them down a little bit. Not my mom. Just because I know much. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, What's next? God help you. I don't know, Robin. Oh, you can't get me. Oh, no, there we go. Because you Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Momentum. Oh, what was that? Look up. No, not down. Oh no, it wasn't. Okay. Momentum. And then you run up. Can the cubes in there? No, don't jump down there. Look in there. Oh, you can fire the thing. Then you'll get you. Then you got to jump up. You got to take it with you. This. <laughs> These cubes are so perilous. No, you, you're gonna being have to... lost to that doom. Oh, uh, we gotta put the thing down there first. So we put him back up. Or just that works. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. So you got to use momentum again. Just got that there. So where's the orange one? Put the blue one there for now. We'll find the orange one. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it could like be down there. Yep. We. And then there's the cube. Now where do we need to take it? Yeah, try jumping up with it. No. Oh, actually. Is there anyone? Is there anywhere? We're too heavy. There. No, but like on the second one. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then take that with you. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, it's just like I get the 
angle right. And right momentum. There you go. Just another puzzle down. Can you go in and around? The hook? Oh, now you gotta use momentum again. I think it's. Oh, okay. It's probably best if you play Portal 1 before you play Portal 2. Okay. Fifth one across. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Oh. Something you duck? Nothing. All my joints are just like locking up. Oh. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. Please the enrichment man. center respects your right to have questions or concerns oh, about this policy. Down. It's a Science. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up oh here! Oh my god, we're almost half the whole game. There is, <laughs> there is something that you can do with test chain. Oh, brilliant! Think, like, you did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with oh. brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Wow. <laughs> well, no, the fact that there's that one of those Just things. pop a portal right behind me there, and come oh, on yeah. through to the other yeah, side. that works. Come on through! I'm overthinking it. Okay, listen, let me... Lay something on you here, it's oh, pretty heavy. Oh, I do that. They told me never, never, ever well, to disengage not... myself no, from my management rail, or I would die. <gasps> but we're out of options here. So, get ready to catch me, alright, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? Alright, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? I know you have a very... One. Catch me, catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow, I am not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... I was say, I know you Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Peculiar voice. I'm Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just but turn around for a second? But not being able to hear subtitles. And... British. He's a British moron. He's one of us. <laughs> I can't... I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right well, open. While well, your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. Pick, would you pick me up? And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? <laughs> Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail actually. Whoa, turret. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Nope, no, I think we're good. Hello. Hello. Yes, I know. Ah, speaking of different turrets. Yes. I will not say any more. I'm able to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Yeah, this isn't perilous at all. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. Okay. I know, I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. 
then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Isn't there an old theory about Gladys actually being a person and then they built cybernetics around her? Probably. Well, she was actually like one of the female scientists. Probably. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite old. Ah! Oh, still held! Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just... Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find an escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, well, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do B? Do you have a pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural, you've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. <laughs> but isn't that the furnace from the first game? Yes. We well, wasn't telling on. Incinerator room. Be careful oh, not to trip over problems. any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them it. down here. The no. dual portal device should be around here somewhere. No. Once you find it, we can start testing, yes. just like old time. Kind of. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. Oh, there fine. should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Yeah. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. 
In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me, again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 oh God, more years already. to do it. Yeah, more or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take so up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. Only chapter I've really two. let the place go since you killed me. Okay, this By is much way, longer than thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while well, you perform this first the simple the test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers.